Atom Packs recently sent me their new and improved two and a half litre Roux fanny pack, so I thought I'd give you my first impressions. Let's go. Hello, Russ here bringing you the best tips and inspiration for hiking around the world. If all of that sounds right up your street, then do consider hitting that subscribe button below for more content just like this every single week. I took the new and improved two and a half litre Roux out with me in Snowdonia this weekend just to test it out. Uh, so I thought let's give you my first impressions with this video. But first, let's go over all of the benefits of using a fanny pack. The benefits of using a fanny pack is that you have everything to hand. There's way more space in there than you'd have with any hip belt pockets on your backpack. Easier to remove than hip belt pockets as well if your backpack has removable ones and it will literally change your life when it comes to hiking. So as I said, this is a new and improved version of the Roux. So what exactly is different? Well, the zip opening has been improved to allow for easier access. The side panels are now slightly deeper to allow for more usable space. And it is now in their 210 denier Robic Extrema as standard. On the scales, I've got it weighing in at 95 to 96 grams, which is pretty much exactly the same as what it says on their website. Its capacity is two and a half liters. The dimensions are nine inches by six inches by two and a half inches deep. As I said before, it is made out of 210 denier Robic Extrema and stretchy mesh on the front. And it also comes in a smaller one and a half liter version as well. It's got a waterproof YKK AquaGuard zipper on the top which keeps out dust and water. It's got two zip mechanisms on the top so you can choose whether you open it from the left or the right. This one actually has two bits of orange shock cord attached to the zip mechanisms making it much easier to open even when you've got gloves on. It's also got two tabs on either side of the zipper which makes it a lot easier to open. You could also uh, attach something with a carabiner to those as well. It's got a really sturdy belt which is made out of a really long piece of webbing and the side release buckle clip is on the wearer's right. I really love how easy it is to take the belt on and off. I'll touch on this a little bit more later, uh, but it's much better than having the buckle clip right around the back, so you have to do a reach around and uh, putting it back on as well. If it's on the center right around the back, it's a bit more difficult because you've got to kind of guess where the buckle clip is. So a really nice touch that it's there on the right. It's got a really large main compartment. You can literally fit so much stuff in this thing. I've had my Sony RX100, my phone, my power bank, some food. Uh, some medicine like my inhaler, my hay fever stuff. It's all gone in there. We even have my headlamp in there as well. It's all been in there at the exact same time. Right now I've just got my Patagonia Micro Puff in there just to kind of puff it out so you can see like all the sizing. But yeah, you literally cram a hell of a lot of stuff in there. It's got a really nice discreet inside pocket to the rear. So that's really good for putting things like documents, bits of paper. You can put your wallet in there, maybe your keys. If you want to put stuff in there that you just want to separate from everything else, it's a really nice little compartment to do all that with. And it's got a really nice stretchy mesh pocket, which is just folded over really nice and neatly on the top. Uh, and it, you can, again, fit quite a bit of stuff in there as well. Uh, it's a really versatile bit of kit. I just loved how much more convenient this is as opposed to having hip belt pockets on your backpack. I mean, the hip belt pockets on my Atom Plus, they're removable, uh, which is good. So I can actually wear this without the hip belts on my backpack. But at the same time, having the hip belt pockets on the backpack, it's not quite as easy to reach stuff and you can't fit as many things in there. And the materials as well, this uh, 210 denier Robic Extrema, it's incredibly tough, it's very malleable very comfortable uh, it's quite breathable on your front as well so when you're wearing it you don't get too sweaty with it on uh, it's really minimal really nicely styled it looks really cool So while the material is actually coated on the inside and it is very waterproof, the seams aren't sealed. So uh, if you're going to keep your phone or your camera or any electronics in there, it's wise to put them in a Ziploc bag inside the roux. The side release buckle clip on the right hand side of the belt took a little bit of getting used to. But once you get used to taking it on and off, uh, you can tell that it's a much better placement of the buckle clip. The most efficient way that I found to put the roux on is to hold the right bit of buckle clip when it's off uh, in your left hand and then swing your right hand around and then put the uh, the root on that way and just kind of buckle it up with both hands. And that is the easiest way that I found to put it on. If you're trying to do it with your other hand or mix things up a little bit, you might get a bit muddled up. But yeah, apart from that, I mean, that is the most intuitive 
uh, way that I found to put it on. Uh, but yeah, like I said, once it's on and you get used to uh, doing it that way, you realize just how much more efficient it is. I'm gonna be taking the route out with me on the Sky Trail in a couple of weeks, so stay tuned for my full review after giving it a good run around on the Sky Trail. Finally, thank you so much Atom Packs for sending this in, stitching it together for me. It was a great surprise to come through the post and uh, I absolutely love this thing. Um, I can't wait to get it out on the Sky Trail very, very soon. Campfire question, which fanny pack are you using on the trail and why? Do let us know down below in the comments section. The trail hunter community would love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching this first look at the Atom Pack's new and improved Roo. Uh, thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it, and I'll see you in the next one.